Good morning students. Today in Scout Guide Part 2, we will be learning about more points, more topic. Let's proceed. Bharat Scout Guide Emblem or Badge World Scout Emblem Badge World Guide Emblem Badge The Scout Guide Patrol Flag The Scout Guide Uniform The, the Patrol and Patrol Sign Scout Guide Investiture Ceremony So in today's lesson, we are going to cover these topics. The Bharat Scout and Guide Emblem. See, the emblem is in green and has yellow border. It is the same as for the leaf. And you have Ashoka Chakra in between. As well, there is a small band below it that is the band of brotherhood sisterhood the emblem of the bharat scouts and guides is a flowery leaf superimposed by the trifold with the ashoka chakra in the center of the trifold the flowery leaf symbolizes scout wing trifold symbolizes guide wing the Ashoka Chakra symbolizes India. Horizontal band symbolizes World Brotherhood. Okay. Next, the World Scout Emblem Badge. Emblem or badge. Okay. This is for the Scout Wing. Now, why I am, I am just telling you, making you known that you should know about these basic things these are the basic things in scouting you should know our emblems you should know our signs okay the world scout emblem or badge shall be of such design and color as decided by the world scout bureau we cannot make any changes in the in that badge it is already on the uh, international level, global level, okay? So, the association has already decided a design and we are only supposed to follow it. The World Scout badge is a cloth badge or a metal badge. The cloth World Scout badge, when worn, shall be worn on the uniform in the center of the feet of the right pocket and the metal badge may be worn in mufti every registered member is eligible to wear the world scout badge now this badge it's especially for scouts so later further on when you move on to the next class you will be elaborated more about it about this and you will be handed a badge to you they will hand a badge to you which you are supposed to stick it on your right pocket okay the world guide emblem badge guide wing this badge is only for guide wing the scout badge is meant only for scouts and the guide badge is only meant for guides okay now this symbol is the same which we have on the world guide flag the world guide badge shall be of such design and color as decided by the world bureau of the world association of girl guides and girl scouts the world guide badge is a cloth or a metal badge blue in color with a golden trifold at the center 
the world guide badge when worn shall be worn in the middle of the right sleeve every registered member is eligible to wear the world guide badge okay this badge is meant only for guides and later on when after a investiture ceremony each guide or each scout will be getting these badges okay so we'll elaborate more about this later but this is only for you to know thanks the scout and guide patrol flags as on the international level we have world flags correct world scout and guide flags then we have on our national level bharat scout guide flag now on the troop level we have the same flag only our unit name is written on that and then on the patrol level patrol level in the sense you students okay the scouts and guide so you all will be having groups you will be you will be divided into groups and those groups are called patrols p a t r o l patrol okay not patrol p e t r o l is fuel and p a t r o l is patrol okay keep that in mind let's see how is that patrol flag the patrol flag shall be triangular in shape white in color with patrol emblem in red color the length of the base shall be 20 cm and the length of two sides shall be 30 cm each it may be carried by the patrol leader this flag is fixed there's a a uh, spelling mistake over there the flag is fixed to a stick of the patrol to the stick of the patrol leader okay when the patrol leader is holding your group uh, this is holding a stick he has a stick in his hand so as a commander so you can stick the patrol flag to that stick okay or at the petrol corner or tent this is during your um, camps we give you we allot some places for you so there you have to pitch your tent and your flag should be attached to that tent or to that corner the petrol sign is put up in this corner the scouts guide usually decorate the corner in a scout way with gadgets charts collections decorative handmade pieces etc the scout masters guide captains and other officials usually pay a visit to these patrol corners this is during camp mostly during camp okay now see there is a structure given to you this is a scout flag uh, scout patrol flag you can see the measurement is given to you that it's in triangular shape and that patrol sign is in red okay even here see you can see a bird that is a patrol sign okay next the patrol and the uniform you can see that girl is holding a flag stick and she has the patrol flag on it okay a pet sorry the patrol a patrol is a team of 5 to 8 scouts or guides okay every patrol is led by a leader known as patrol leader each patrol leader is a ass 
assisted by a scout guide called the second. Now, the second helps the patrol leader and takes over the responsibility in his her absence. Okay. Now, patrol is a group of people made of five or eight students. Okay. Then, as on the school level, you have head boy, head girl, then captains and as a vice captains and then you have uh, class monitors vice monitors so the same way is followed in scouting and guidance your patrol has a leader and an assistant leader okay then on the troop level you have troop leader vice troop leader okay so a uh, group of patrol makes a unit sorry makes a troop and group of troop and company makes a unit okay so we are now on patrol level now the vice patrol leader that is that is he or she will be called the second hmm? we call the second so whenever the patrol leader is absent or maybe during the camp the patrol leader is engaged in some other activity the second or the assistant leader is in charge of the group okay Patrol sign. Every patrol is recognized by its distinct sign. Scout patrols usually adopt the names of animals and birds. Guide patrols usually use names of the flowers as a patrol sign. The scout patrol should be able to imitate the sound made by the animals or birds selected as their petrol sign now petrol sign you just cannot pick anything no because i like i like uh, strawberries so i can take it as my petrol sign no you cannot do that if you are a scout or your uh, you know, your a group of scouts will only choose sign from animals or birds that too you should be able to imitate their sound okay like um, for example if suppose you are going to take wolf no the scouts decide to take wolf as the petrol sign so you should be able to imitate the sound of the wolf. How does a wolf howl? Somewhat like this. Maybe I am not exactly like that. But somewhat like this. Isn't it? You have heard the dogs. Dogs um, making that sound. Isn't it? They howl. So, you should be able to make a howling sound like wolves. And you should have a yell. Yell in the sense, uh, I'll just give you an example like. Uh, mm, um, one, two, three. One, two, three. Sunflower is free. One, two, three. Sunflower is free. No? Uh, means I'm just giving you an example. It's, it's not exactly the same. But I'm just giving you an example that you can have that way. No? Uh, or um, brave and brave and clever. Brave and clever. The wolves. 
the wolves are brave and clever brave and clever okay somewhat like that like your petrol sign should be included in that yell it should become your yell okay so now you have to keep this in mind like when when our physical classes begin we will be having elections okay and we will be having petrol you will be divided into petrol scouts as well as guides so we will form patrols and there will be a patrol leader there will be a vice patrol leader you will you will you will have to select a patrol sign for yourself for your group and then you have to draw as well as you should make prepare a yell for your group and especially scouts remember you should be able to imitate the sounds made by the animals or birds selected as their petrol sign whatever you select make sure that you know to imitate their sound okay if suppose you select peacock so you should be able to imitate the sound of a peacock not exactly but similar to it okay like how does a peacock make a sound isn't it uh, a little bit like this maybe i'm not exactly a peacock okay so uh, this is for your petrol sign okay now here are some examples like uh, on the left oh, sorry see on the screen you can see the flowers one side there are flowers okay these are guide signs okay guide petrol signs the other hand you have animals and birds no so these signs are meant for scouts these are only examples for you okay these are registered signs on international level the scout sign hmm it's not that you cannot take but these these are printed ones they have printed their own signs but on our level school level we have to learn to draw hmm? okay let's proceed now when you when you enter scouting guiding you should know the language of signs okay signals because more or less scouting and guiding is like uh, you know not creating chaos having fun in a discipline discipline well mannered and silent way okay now signs and signals are important because in the past in the beginning before the scouting began uh, lord baden powell um, was with few few of his young uh, soldiers okay and they were surrounded by the enemy they were very few okay and one of the village was surrounded by the enemy so they were supposed to go and help them help the villagers now lord baden powell he was already expert and smart in all these guerrilla tactics like you know, being in the forest running here and there and uh, moving after birds and animals you know so he had that like you no know, walking walking very cautiously without making any sound like that so he trained his boys and he 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 taught them sign languages signals you no know? so these boys used to spy on the village to find out the activity of the enemy and this is how he 
he he trained them and then later on after that incident scouting and guiding took place okay so the basic is you should be able to learn signals and signs okay the main main thing in scouting about signals is whistle signals okay yeah here, here are few few whistle signals you just need to know them see there's a dot dark dot given it indicates very short whistle okay then a small dash indicates short whistle and a long dash indicates long whistle okay so here one to five sound of whistles are given to you and the order is given to you like the first one is a long long whistle that means what does it mean silence you have to be alert and pay attention you will get a next signal okay so you have to be attentive and silent these signs these signals are used during camping or your practical classes or your classes when live classes are going on that time physical classes will be going on that time because now in the class if you want to make everyone silent or make everyone uh, attentive to you what will you do what will you do you will shout again to them if suppose teacher is not in the class or some teacher has told you uh, told the monitor to handle the class okay so children are talking and talking and talking and that monitor how she is going to control them banging the table like this or hey keep quiet Shh, keep quiet you are going to say like this no but in scouting the teacher the captain guide captain the scout master or the unit leader or the troop leader uses whistle what do we use whistle okay and the whistle speaks for you and you all are only supposed to follow the orders so you have to be very sharp while listening and concentrate okay the second one is short whistles how many times three times see 1 2 3 now this indicates go out get away disperse or extend the third one is short whistles very very short whistles see how many times three three times like so it's like rally close in or come together rally in the sense a full mob comes together you know everybody come together next fourth one is a very short whistle and a short whistle like right? now i can i don't have a whistle right now otherwise i'll just show you so you have short whistle very short whistle sorry very short whistle short whistle 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 and this indicates alarm be ready look out danger no any of these the fifth one is very short whistles three times and short whistle one time so this is only for petrol leaders this is only for the petrol leaders it can be for others also 
but depends on the situation depends on the circumstance okay so any signal should be obeyed as fast as possible no matter what work you are doing at that time otherwise the whistle is blown over there blown over there and you are doing your work no you are not paying attention to the whistle during camp during your physical classes teachers won't be shouting after you oh come here come on stand in line come on do this and do that no we will be communicating with the whistles no we will be communicating through whistles and the patrol leaders will be telling you no okay will be get uh, passing the messages to you next the scout guide uniform now before this before we begin with the scout guide part i had already sent some pictures of the uh, uniform one was the guide uniform the other one was the scout uniform okay so uh, i'll just read about this hmm? the guide girls uniform it's a frock a deep sky blue color plain frock with half sleeves the frock should have four pack, patch pockets open sports collar and it it's all it ornamental shoulder pieces on uniform like you have shoulder straps okay those are called shoulder straps the sleeve should have turned up and stitch down cuffs okay second ribbon the hair should be neatly tied with a black ribbon or a black hairband no fancy tying no no ponies and nothing either you keep your hair or if your hair are cut you put a hairband then the belt scarf badge shoulder badge etc worn by the guide are the same as that of the scout but the badge should be worn in the middle of the left sleeve next the scout or boys uniform shirt the shirt is steel gray in color it has half sleeve with two patch pockets and shoulder straps you can also wear an olive green jersey with half rolled up sleeve okay this green jersey is not not for us okay now for the petrol scouts for the scout you get the shirt is which is steel gray in color okay you get it in market later we'll see about this i'll just go we'll have a run through about this short pants or trousers short pants are for standard 5th and 6th and long pants is for 7th 8th and 9th 10th then uh, the pants will be of navy blue color a brown belt a brown colored leather belt or a khaki web belt with the official buckle of the bharat scouts and guide now you either get a brown colored or you get a khaki or you get a gray color belt okay then scarf a triangular scarf of the group color other than yellow gray green and purple approved by the local and district association is worn around the neck over the collar and shoulder straps the two sides of the scarf should have a minimum length of 70 centimeters and a maximum of 80 centimeters this is the measurement of the scarf vogel the vogel holds the scarf firmly in place it should be adjusted at the correct height okay head dress a blue beret cap with a badge in the pa in uh, okay in past you must have seen a uh, scout guide students wearing that cap no barrett cap 
and you must have seen their uniform with the uh, robes and belts and all okay so the scout badge it is a cloth badge with green background and the emblem of bharat scouts and guides in yellow color embroidered on it it is worn on the middle of the left pocket shoulder badge the shoulder badge with white background and the troop name in red is worn on the right shoulder below the seam shoulder strips two shoulder strips with the name of the patrol is worn at the top of the sleeve below the seam footwear brown or black leather or canvas shoes lanyard a khaki lanyard a cord worn around the shoulder with a whistle whistle the whistle should be placed in the right pocket of the shirt cord a 3 meter cord worn in a specified fashion is carried on the belt cord it's a rope okay white color rope then other optional items are a haversack or a backpack knife magnet compass staff hand axe etc these other optional items are are used during camping okay next see yes here's, here's the example you can see a guy in a blue uniform as well as a scout in his uniform now he is a sixth or fifth standard boy so he is wearing a half pant by seven on seventh onwards there are long pants like trousers okay scout guide investiture ceremony now this is very important only becoming uh, sorry only attending scouting and guiding classes doesn't make you a scout or a guide you need now whatever notes i have given you you need to write those notes in your book and your scout scouting book is called your log book okay that's why i had i had told you you need to write it and you need to decorate your book no your book should look like a diary like it should look like your journal not your science journal okay it should look like your journal maybe you must have heard about or you, have, you must have seen in movies or tv also they have their own journal with pictures in it with drawings in it with writings in it hmm? of your own so this is your scout scout notebook you have to make it very attractive you have to write those notes and all these things then uh, your book should be complete for the investiture ceremony your book should be complete you should know the promise you should know the scout guide prayer you should know the scout scout guide flag song you should know the sign the salute the handshake okay the motto the slogan the spirit you no know? all these things you should know before your investiture ceremony because you have to go through a test and then after that test you will be chosen for the investiture ceremony if you don't know these things how can we pass you no you should know your laws too there are nine laws have you gone through the laws there are how many nine laws so you should know those laws not only pick pad but you should know to use them follow them apply it to your daily life okay then you can become a real scout or a guide now back to the lesson boys girls who have chosen to become scout guide go through an investiture ceremony the candidate has to make the scout guide promise preparation for the ceremony for a person to become a member of scout guide he she has to first complete the pravesh test that is what i was telling you know you should know all those things 
before your investiture ceremony that is your pravesh test okay after the completion of these tests the investiture ceremony should be performed within a week then one can wear the scout guard uniform cap belt scarf and the membership badge only after the investiture ceremony the investiture ceremony is important it should be conducted in a proper dignified manner okay now i have given you this procedure you need to write it down okay uh, one is all all members of the troop should stand in horseshoe formation there is a particular formation you have to stand in that manner only like how we stand for school assemblies you know straight in straight line you cannot stand like that there is a proper way of the ceremony you have to stand in horseshoe formation the badge scarf cap etc should be kept ready for the recruit then we will uh, later the scout guide master or captain will explain the significance of the occasion then the patrol leader is asked to bring the recruit to be invested the patrol leader should request the scout master guide captain to invest him her as a member and the recruit is then asked the meaning of honor no then after the promise the recruit is handed over the membership badge that means the teachers or the official higher officers will uh, hand over the membership badge the scout guide badge or invest you with the scarf or the badge okay now this ceremony takes place on 22nd of february in our schools hmm? we invest the uh, scouts or guides okay on that day because before that you should be ready you should finish your pravesh test hmm now see there is a structure given to you you can see the flag the circle with the flag indicates the patrol leader and the circle with four dots indicates the assistant patrol leader and the other other circles indicate scouts or guides in that patrol and there is a flag over there then the cross the box with the cross is the assistant sm or dm scout master or guide captain okay then the other blank rectangle box is scout master or guide captain so they they have given the formation you have to stand in that proper formation and later later we i will give you the command okay when we begin with our classes and whenever it's possible next you can see here's a picture they are standing in a formation the guide captains are standing and scout masters right in front uh, opposite side of the uh, flag you can see the guides on one side the scouts on the other see okay you can see the guide investing with a bogal scarf and bogal then on the other side you can see the scout master putting a badge so these 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 are the things okay i hope um, i have been able to explain it to you in a easy way i hope you understood and uh, wish you the best so that you can learn become a true scout or guide and pass your pravesh test okay next keep one thing in mind that i'm giving you all these notes now so that you can complete during these holidays and when the school begins we can have our practicals we will be having some lessons it's not that we are not going to have but the most of the writing part 
we are covering now okay so we can have all other practicals later on huh? there will be some writing it's not that you won't be having writing lessons you will be having but we will we can have lot practicals also okay otherwise after the school then i will be giving you these topics and you will be writing so we won't have practical classes okay those students who are interested in keeping all these notes other than your logbook you can just uh, message me personally so i can send you uh, i can send you a document or a pdf so you can save it okay so now here i'll take your leave once again i hope this lesson was you were able to understand this lesson and i was helpful to explain it okay see you next time with another part okay till then bye thank you take care